Hi, this is Charles Edward Alexander Hedger from Mayhem, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my experiences of bias effects. One of the problems that Mayhem has is because we live in different countries, or at least three are in Norway, one is in Hungary, I'm in the UK, we can't rehearse every week. What I like to do is play along to live tracks audio that we've captured from the shows. The problem with that is once you put amp sims alongside live captured audio, it just never sounded right to me. It always felt uncomfortable and distinctly digital. Bias Effects has blown me away in how organic and how real it feels. In fact, it, at times it sounds so real that it, it just you could pretty much blend it in and it would sound like a live recording. That's a very important thing for me. The other thing is because of the length of the career of this band, it's about 30 years and every album sounds completely different, Bias Effects allows me to create the tones of the different albums extremely easily, even going back to the very early things like Death Crush and The Mysteries Don Tistanus, which is important now that we're touring it. Uh, those are very raw, analog recordings, and I'm amazed how close I can get to the original recordings using this software. The other thing with Bias Effects, which is great, is how you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. It, you can pull up a preset and it sounds fantastic from the off. Or, if, like me, you have a very clear idea of what you are doing live and you want to replicate that, it's extremely easy to do in a matter of minutes. Also, away from the band, I do a lot of production music, film trailer music, and these kinds of jobs have a very fast turnaround and I don't have time to be going to studios to record mic'd up amplifiers. Bias Effects have made that process for me pretty much redundant anyway, because everything that I record with this software is easily mixable to a broadcast standard. I also recorded an instrumental guitar album a few years ago, but I never really did anything with it. It sat on my hard drive. It didn't sound right. It was very uninspired, and I couldn't get the guitar tones. Now I've gone back and revisited it using Bias FX. It's an incredible difference, it sounds fantastic and I'm actually thinking to finally finish it. I can definitely see that Bias FX is going to become an integral part of all of the work that I do from this point onwards. I'm really impressed with it. I've never been so inspired by any amp sim and to be honest this feels like the picking up a guitar for the first time back in the day with a loud amplifier and feeling that excitement and that's really important to me. Mm -hmm.